ओके गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो दिस इज़ द मेटलैब विंडो वैन यू ओपन फ्रॉम दिस हियर यू यू डबल क्लिक दिस एंड यू विल गेट दिस विंडो राइट सो दिस वीडियो इज जस्ट आई विल शो सम बेसिक बेसिक वेरी बेसिक कमांड्स सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड हाउ द मैट लैब वर्कस राइट सपोज वी वॉन्ट टू यूज मैट लैब एज अ कैलकुलेटर राइट सो हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू यूज इट सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू एड फोर प्लस फाइव एंड आई वॉन्ट टू मल्टीप्लाई सिक्स इन इट राइट सो आई कैन से द आंसर आई एम गेटिंग इज थर्टी फोर राइट now suppose i don't want this answer to come in my window this answer i want to assign this value to a variable so can i write it like this suppose let us say x equals to 4 plus 5 multiply 6 so we can say now it's not giving it giving answer and we we have saved this x equals to 34 and now i want 5 multiply x because now we have a answer for x equals to 34 and i want to multiply 5 multiply with x so you can see i i got the answer 170 right so this how i can use matlab as a calculator so it can perform addition it can perform subtraction multiplication and division let us take an example suppose i want to divide 24 divided by so for division i i use the symbol by 6 so answer is 4 i want to assign it y equals to suppose let us say 50 divided by 10 so answer is 5 so let us say if i want to multiply x multiply y what i get 170 you can see x is x is 34 here and y is 5 so it multiply 34 into 5 that is answer is 170 right so basically i have assigned a variable x and y and then it calculates my results so it can perform all the all the mathematical operations suppose i want to clear the screen so i will say clc so let us suppose i have written this i have written this and i want to clear this screen so i will write clc and it will clear my screen right so this is the second operation now now i will i would like to explain you what's the function of the semicolon in matlab it is very very important let us suppose i am writing t equals to 5 right now i am writing semicolon and then in the next line i am writing t equals to t plus 1 right so it will give me t equals to 6 right now i will type the same thing without the semicolon so t equals to 5 i am not typing any semicolon now so what it is doing it is giving me the answer t equals to 5 now let us see let's add t equals to t plus 1 so it is giving me 6 so basically what happens is if we add semicolon in the statement then it is it will not give you the answer like this it will just write as a program right so if we want to write a program in continuation and we don't want any answer then we will write and end the line with a semicolon let us suppose i am writing x equals to 5 semicolon then i am writing y equals to 6 semicolon then i am writing z equals to 7 semicolon and i want to perform a function let us say i want to say t equals to x multiply y multiply z and see the answer is t equals to 210 but if i would have put in the semicolon here then it will not give you the answer right so basically we can suppress the numerical output by putting a semicolon at the end of the line right if we want to suppress the output okay now if there is an error suppose suppose i write x equals to 20 right and uh, i want to multiply 6 into 20 so if i write if i write 6 x 
will it give us error or not it will give us error because why because 6x is an invalid expression so i must write 6 into x 6 asterisk x so it has given you that it is an error right now i want to clear my screen so i will write clc and it will clear my screen here now what else uh, yes suppose i want to do some mathematical operation suppose i want to write an expression and solve 1 divided by 4 plus 4 to the power 2 so how i will write so i will write in matlab it is 1 divided by now i will write bracket here 4 plus 4 to the power 2 so it is 4 exponential 2 and then I will solve it so it will give me the answer so this bracket and the exponential we need to solve if we are doing such type of thing now suppose I want to do 1 divided by 4 plus 4 to the power 2 plus 4 by 5 into 6 by 7 how I will write so I will write 1 divided by the same thing 4 plus yeah 4 plus 4 4 to the power 2 then plus 4 divided by 5 then multiply 6 divided by 7 right and then we get the answer because we need answer at each step so i am not putting any semicolon right we can assign this to the variable as, as well x and y right suppose if we don't add the bracket bracket here then what will happen will it give the same answer let's try it one uh, okay divided by okay we, we are just going to do the same thing it's the same thing we are going to do but we are just removing this bracket here okay let's execute this see is the different answer the first answer is 0 0.7357 and it's a different answer so the bracket plays a very important role and if we want to write the same same statement to get the same statement again then we will just press on the keyboard the up key when we press the up key you will get all the previous commands you have written and then we will just select the command and we will write it okay so the up key and the down key from the keyboard okay next is okay yes uh, the okay i would just want to clear the screen so i have just cleared the screen now if i what is the use of the comma and the semicolon so if it is equal to i i write a equals to eight and I separate it with semicolon here and I'm writing B equals to suppose I'm writing cos A and then I'm separating it with a comma and I'm writing C equals to cos H A right if I want to do this this thing or suppose okay suppose I want to write 10 A now let's see what will happen so basically the comma indicates the answer in the separate line okay if we don't add comma then the answer will be in the same line so the, the this is basically the use of comma if you want to execute our answer in the separate line not in the same line okay and there is a help function there is a help in the matlab if you want to if yeah this is the help here if you want to know any of the command you can just see the examples you can ask for help suppose if you want to look for the square root function so you can just type help square root so if it is showing in pink color that means it is a inbuilt function in the matlab so if you if you type this help square root it will give you what what the square root means and how we can use it right suppose if i type help and i type sq 
okay i type in caps s q r t so it is not case sensitive so it will so it so you can see it is capital s q r t so it is saying s q r t not found showing help for s q r t instead so you we cannot use cap caps s q r t you need to use small s q r t for this square root function right what else i can okay so these are some of the basic basic very basic things like use of how you can use the comma how can you use the semicolon how you can see the results in the matlab and you can use this matlab as a calculator so these were are uh, these are the basic commands which we can use in the matlab and i want to clear the screen so i will see clc see it is saying unrecognized function or variable clc why what is the error because it is in the caps so i need to write clc so it will clear my screen okay so next next commands are in next video thank you